Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we have some monster news to talk about. From finally the Enid Wednesday Netflix doll being found early in store, we have some new G3 doll releases, some collector and crew production updates and more so stay tuned, subscribe and let's get into it. Okay first up, here we have a brand new budget 3 pack including Cleo, Drac and Claudine. Now Cleo here is the same Cleo that we're gonna get in the other budget uh line she's wearing the same outfit uh, here but the dracula and claudine are wearing new outfits uh they are reusing some prints from other outfits that we've already seen like with dracula her dress print is the same like from her recent core refresh skirt and then dracula and then claudine um her skirt and shoes i feel like are also reusing some prints molds so yeah they're not all new but you know they they are i guess like just new combined like uh pieces from different outfits so yeah they they look fine they look cute um i like dracula's like little side part um the bat headband is not new i don't think but it's it's cute i feel like they really need to use that more for dracula um and then claudine she's fine not really anything special and then cleo yeah she she yeah her outfit that it looks good so yeah new three pack not sure when it's gonna come out but um there we go new budget dolls next here we have new stock photos on the ekin getaway uh set here that includes the repackaged um, and recolored uh, gold mobile and then we also have two exclusive Dracula and Claudine dolls in new outfits now interesting because we already we already saw stock photos of the set in previous videos uh, but here we have a new stock photos from the box and it's interesting how now it looks like Dracula no longer has bangs on the final doll because you can tell in the artwork she has bangs and in previous you know stock photos she had bangs and now she doesn't have bangs anymore so okay weird uh the middle part i guess works also without the bangs so i guess she looks still fine um the leather leather the like vinyl looking rain jacket that she has on really cute you know Cla claudine has like a little fur coat on going on uh yeah it's, they, they look cute they're definitely like really nice but um if you already have a ghoul mobile i don't really see like a draw here it really doesn't doesn't offer too much new if again you already you already have the the car it really i mean the, the dolls are cute but like it's gonna be like 40 or something so you know not cheap but i guess it's a new color variant so if you if you if you don't care there you go next here we have a new stock photos of the monster vistas clear denial budget doll here she is all in gold with kind of like a mummy bandage dress a really nice uh neck piece and then we have uh, some like generally teal here for her this time around with some gold, gold tinsel um and yeah she looks really good you know no side glance here just you know straightforward um she has a cute little purse uh yeah pyramid purse and then her heels are also like a teal like light blue um not sure if the mold is new but it does look new, fresh it looks newer um and i like how it matches the necklace like they're the same you know shade of blue so yeah she's cute definitely like just a budget doll but still fun moving on we do have some new stock photos of the school of secrets series of five garden ghouls um here we have the pictures of the outside of the box including the new artwork for you know Twyla, Venus, and Draculaura uh, and then we do also have some new stock photos of the ghouls and some other you know outfit variants that you can mix and match with uh, and Draculaura you know like I think she really does look good she's I don't know I think she's the best one out of the three here uh, Venus is a uh, is close but I just feel like you know the hair could have been better um and some of her pieces i feel like you know you know the tights could have been all the way but they're just like they end like right above her ankles i just feel like that's awkward <laughs> but venus still looks great twilight is really cute so yeah i mean really strong lines surprisingly um and even if the the garden you know like floral theming isn't like groundbreaking or interesting at least some pieces are still intriguing and you know they still look like um fun like fun dolls it's just a question of you know are, are they worth getting more of these you know lockers for like because it's just these lockers man they just pile up and it's just like we we're, we're series five like th that's a ton of lockers <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a ton of waste of plastic really um but anyways uh we still are missing stock photos for laguna hopefully she will you know she will leak soon because I, I will love to see what her design you know looks like moving so. on to some g1 news we have some updates on the third wave of the crew production series which will include and now additionally the werecat twins Miality and persephone in their original uh pack two pack so that's really fun obviously because torlai is also getting reproduced so they're going to be you know the, the whole gang is going to be reproduced at the same time um obviously operetta is also going to be included and it's still not sure whether or not nefra will also be reproduced in the third wave but it is assumed um and it would just make sense but so it's implied but it's still we still don't really have any actual like confirmation uh, but i think it's a it's a safe bet to say that you know nefra will probably also be you know reproduced in the third series and if not then for sure in the fourth series because you know they're gonna just reproduce all of the old ghouls eventually anyway here we have some new pictures of the wednesday monster high uh dolls uh so here we have some more pictures of wednesday herself in the box but also the back of the box which does have a little bit of a bio which is very interesting for sure um and also the actual like printing back drop for the packaging is of the room that wednesday and enid share and i'm so sure that if you actually like put the two side to side um they actually form the you know circle uh stained glass from the actual room so that's so fun anyways so here we also have some unboxed pictures of wednesday um and yeah she looks good i think she's a solid doll for sure she looks better than the leaked versions because here at least she has an actual you know skin tone it's not like she's gray which wouldn't have made much sense um but i do feel like you know jenna ortega played her you know she's a fellow latina and i feel i feel like you know she could have definitely definitely the doll used some a little bit of a tan uh she's really pale like in my opinion you know and i get it wednesday she's she's a pale character she's gloomy you know whatever um but you know she's she's really pale like she if you didn't know you would think like oh she in the netflix series she's just played by a caucasian you know actress but um yeah i don't know i feel like a little bit more of a tan no it would have been fine but um yeah <laughs> so <laughs> this is what we have she's still really cute i do like her face screening um and her outfit obviously is not completely accurate to the, you know to the actual like uniform in the series but still it's accurate enough it's a it's a it's a more interesting uh, version it's a it's a more interesting take on the school uni uniform from the netflix series um i do like her socks and her boots as well with the heels having you know unique shapes uh yeah definitely really cute and uh the little snap new finger mold also really just so fun and then yes most recently we just saw the enid core doll leak as well well she was found early and also another toys r us uh so that's also very exciting the official release date for these wednesday dolls is going to be in august by the way so late august uh they're supposed to you know officially release in stores um but yeah so i'm happy that we do finally have a better quality look here at enid because you know previously the pictures are all blurry and then the prototypes were you know like very blurry as well at uh, the leaks so yeah finally we have a somewhat better higher quality picture of enid and yeah she is reusing the face sculpt from rochelle g1 so that is the case i believe um and i do like her outfit you know it's very pink i love pink so obviously she's gonna be you know brownie points already <laughs> like i like her already just by default um but i have to say i don't know if i love the face sculpt being used here for enid and also like just the the face screening is fine i just i really feel like the face sculpt doesn't really work for, for her enid i feel like they should have used a different one um but maybe she'll look different and better in like close-up unboxed pictures um you know who knows I, I do hope that she looks better when i actually see her you know like up close or in person or just box pictures um because as it is right now i yeah i'm not sure if i love the face sculpt on her it just doesn't really look like enid at least with you know wednesday the face sculpt it, it looks like you know wednesday it looks like a human you know like a version a human monster high version of wednesday the character from the netflix series but with enid here the face sculpt it doesn't resemble the actress the likeness of the actress at all from the series like not in my opinion at least um yeah she she's still like really cute like don't get me wrong i like her nails i like her you know little bag um her shoes definitely she's and i'm gonna get her for sure um also by the way they include brand new bases for the stance with spiderwebs so um 
yeah, these dolls definitely have some higher treatment because of the new stands as well. Um, I kind of wish that they would have included some diaries. I don't know, just like something else. But um, yeah, they kind of feel lacking in the accessories department. But yeah, Enid, Enid is fun. She's cute looking. Hopefully she looks even better in person. And lastly, we have some new accessory pieces that have been leaked that seem to be part of the new Skelector Hocus Pocus 3-pack releasing later this year. As you can see, some of these belt pieces slash you know like just you know overall necklace whatever pieces um definitely resemble some of the uh, accessories that the uh, sanderson sisters wear in the actual hocus pocus uh sequel movie so it definitely i can see these being used for um those collector dolls for sure and i can't wait to see what they actually look like but um they are gonna be expensive so yeah it's a it's a doozy <laughs> and that was the video i hope you all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to and of course so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the dolls you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses